never been here. Yeah, this, this scene's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. You, you like the ferry? Yeah, what an cool, experience. Huh? It's, it's free and there's a bar. <laughs> I think you have to stay inside that little area to get the beer, right? Yeah, you can go anywhere you want. Really? Yeah. Unacceptable. We're getting a beer next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is just like a nice little walk area. You can run and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like next year or the year after that, like right over here, they're going to build the world's biggest Ferris wheel. So, like, the biggest one is like either in London or Asia right now. Yeah. They have approved to build it here. There's an app for the phone. It's called uh, Ship Finder. It basically tells you all the AIS signals. Oh, yeah. So when, when I'm on the ferry, sometimes I'm like, oh, look at all these boats, you know where they're from. So you like go on your phone. Yeah. It tells you like where it's coming from, what it's carrying, what type of ship it is, yeah. where it's going. It's really cool, but it's all on yeah. your phone. The house where the Godfather movie was filmed is here. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So I went over there one time and I knocked on their door and I was like, hey. <laughs> and the guy talked to me about it. He was explaining to me how the house was set up in the movie. Really? Uh, parts of the house that you see in the movie are actually props. Really? They're, they're fake parts of the house. <laughs> I bought a bicycle. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I can ride the bicycle so I can just go downhill. That lasted two times or three times. <laughs> it's a folding bike. Oh, yeah. So I have it at the house sitting there. I don't use it. Aww. And then motorcycle came in next and then the car. So how long have you lived here? You sat out. Now it's... 2010. It'll be three, three years. years. So this is our little building. Nice! Yeah. I really feel like we're on such an adventure. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, nothing. For us, it's exciting. Yeah. We, it became productive. We got to do some things in the house that should have been done a long time ago. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, it's not so far because after work all day, I'm like, I don't want to. There's brandy and pepper, and my mom puts a drop of Worcestershire or oh, yeah. Perrin sauce if you're from Europe. Very cool. I like this stuff. I get this European mustard here. Uh -huh. It burns. It really is. It's really, it's really, it's really intense. Huh. And the flavor of it is just amazing. Wow. Oh, that's great. Smell that. Wow. Smell that? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So I put some of that in there for for, for burn. And then I take yeah, I have European mustard in here from my parents who give it to me from Switzerland. It's France and, and Germany and Switzerland they usually mustard and mayonnaise can come in a uh, toothpaste. Makes a lot of sense. So it's easier. Put some of that in there. Wow. Then you have the mustard sauce. Then there's the horseradish one. Uh-huh. Then there's a curry one Ooh. and a garlic one. Huh. And then we have, um, I'm gonna make some french fries. Now in this house we only fry with olive oil. Right. In South Spain it's, it's very common to have um, olive oil potato chips. And you know, we'll go to like the kiosk or whatever, you get candy or cigarettes. Yeah. And uh, they'll have the olive oil potato chips and they just have a different color. I really enjoyed the cooking episodes that you made. Yeah? Yeah, I'll never forget, I, I made that uh, Philly cheesesteak. Yeah? Yeah, okay. watching your episode. Susan and I went to Philly about like two weeks ago, Yeah, I think it was, and we went to, to the original place where they invented the, the cheesesteak. And when we got there, we're like, okay, let's have a real Philly cheesesteak and see what it's, what it's about, and it was horrible. They put cheese whiz <laughs> on there and just Oh, man! It melts and it becomes like this greasy mess. Yeah, I watched that episode of you teaching how to make the Philly cheesesteak, and it looked really good. I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And I, so I got all the ingredients, and then uh, as I was making it, I was playing your video again, just to make sure I got the steps right in it, yeah. and it came out great. <laughs> Let's see. My parents, they like to eat fondue with chips. Yep. I mean, I like to eat fondue with french fries. Aye. I got this thing at like Macy's. It was like 15 or 20 bucks. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's great. That's it. And then I just fill it up with olive oil. Yep. My new thing is when I eat French fries, I I eat her I sprinkle herbs of Provence on them. Oh yeah. Smell yeah. that. Mmm. Yeah? That's beautiful. Oh. The fragrance. The fragrance is good. <laughs> so hey, want to learn something cool? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> learn how to savor a champagne bottle. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to New York! <laughs> Champagne time, all right. Woo. So the, oh, it's wow. a clean cut, right? Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god! This is cut. Yeah. 
Wow. But it's it's cut from the force, not from the knife. So the pressurized force um, shatters the glass and it gets a clean cut. Yeah. Wow. All right, you guys. Have you ever seen that before, Mo? I have a video about it on YouTube.